Hi, I'm Lou Caruso of Surfcasters Journal, and today I'd like to show you how to replace a real seat on a rod that's already built. Normally when we put a real seat on, it's done from the front end, but because it's already guides on the rod, we're going to do it from the back end. I'm going to show you how to cut it off and then how to actually replace it. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to remove the butt cap on the rod and we're going to take the back cork off. You want to get this as clean as possible before you put new cork on. Alright, so the next step is we're going to remove the back lock nut. And as you can see, that'll come right off. Now, a lot of times this is all locked up from sand and you can't get this off. So in that case, I would have to include this in the cut when I'm ready to cut it. See, it slides right off. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to make a cut on here on the real seat. Now, as you can see, there's a line already in here. The biggest problem you have with these is you don't want to go too deep. You want to keep this shallow enough to just get on the back end of this real seat so that you can see the bushings underneath. Okay, as you can see, I've cut down to where I can see the tape bushings and gone no further. So now it's just a matter of taking a screwdriver and first prying it and work it all the way around. That's it. Now what I'll do is I'll take a, a burner and I'll heat this just a little bit, this epoxy. And I'll get this all cleaned up. Now we're going to heat this up a little bit. And what it'll do is it'll soften up this epoxy so I can get it peeled off. As always, not too much heat. Okay, so at this point, I've gotten the bulk of the epoxy off almost all the tape off. What I'm going to do now is take a little sandpaper and just clean this up and rough it up a little bit. The next step in this process is to build up new bushings on here to get it ready for the new reel seat. Now the first thing I would do is I want to find out which reel seat is going to fit over the end of this so that I can replace it. All right. So in this case this is a, a, a Lama Glass GSB 132-1M and I'm attempting to put a size 22 reel seat on and as you can see it won't fit. It's a little bit too tight. Now I've taken these sometimes when I don't want to go too big and I've actually sanded the butt end of this blank down a little bit and I've gotten it to slide over. But for you at home, all you need to do is go to the next size, which in this case is a size 24 and as you can see it slides right over. So I'm going to put it back to where it was because it's going to wind up in the same location. It's just a replacement. And I'm going to mark it. front and back and now I'm going to build up some bushings some guys build up two some guys build up three I like to do four gives me a, a good good base when I'm when I'm mounting a real seat
And I would normally take this, and when I sand this down, I would put it back in my lathe, and I'd sand it down so that it was perfectly clean. In this case, I'm just doing this for illustration. Um, some guys buy the bushings, the ready-made bushings, that you can just slide on. I still do old school. Um, I go to the dollar store and I buy rolls of masking tape. Ten at a time. And then it's a matter of sliding this over. Now you're going to build these up until this just slides over. Until your real seat is just a snug fit. And then what I would do is I'm going to tape up the front end. Now I'm going to mix up a batch of epoxy. I'm going to spread my epoxy on all of the bushings here. And I'm going to make sure that in between each one of these bushings is completely full. So that when I slide this across and it's tight, it's going to push any excess into each one of these little sleeves that I've created. I'm going to spin it a little, let the epoxy sink down, and then I'm going to push on to the next one and do the same thing so that I have perfect contact in between each one of these masking tape bushings. I'm going to go all the way up and the most important part of this job is going to be to make sure that you line up your real seat with your guides. Otherwise this was all a waste of time. I'm going to let the epoxy set up and then I'm going to put my um, cork tape back on the back end. 